Uh, this is uh, in respect to a Thai princess by the Kitiapa, um, for whom it is said she is married, living single. I do want to end this curse, so I did came up with a really decent solution to one. Um, if I enter here, by the Kitiapa fiance, colonel, even, I don't get absolutely any result in respect to uh, what already should have been a husband, but still there is no man on the picture, but there was a man on the picture, there was a man on the picture beginning 2000 and uh, 2002 for sure and um, it says here Thailand's era of insanity colonel well Mr. McGregor managed to penetrate in Thailand and started the blog Andrew McGregor started the blog right through my case he became specialized uh, in Thailand due to literally He became specialized <clears throat> he became specialized in Thailand due to my case but he was designated to be specialized in my case again through the British Royals British Royals always played the double sword game wouldn't be because it would be for my sake or something like this, but it would be probably if they wouldn't hold on to their promises, to their obligations toward British, you know, double sword is just a double sword. Uh, Mr. McGregor already sold photos and information here it is. Oh, yes. Uh, to Thai royals. They did purchase from here, from him. Through this case, he got all kinds of stuff going on. This is the guy who was in the picture already since 2002 and even before. Um, for this man, I have to say that. This was to become her husband, really. Um, unfortunately, I never ever was really considered as a real uh, potential for this princess. Regretfully, I have to say, defend myself against the Thai royal lies. Um, it's identical situation as to the British royals. They use these daughters for other purposes. I was already completely off the picture. I was already at one point in time completely a nobody really. I was like totally, totally, totally nobody. And it's interesting because you don't get any kind of information. You don't see anything about it, you know? Uh, if you go and, and, and you Google this stuff here, you don't get to see absolutely anything. You, you just get to see a princess girl 
always alone, by herself. You get to see one picture right here in the middle. Look at that. That's him. I think it was 2002. Pacharakitiapa. Pacharakitiapa. Yeah. It's a really beautiful name, isn't it? Yeah. But this was the man who should have had married her long time ago. Long time ago. Um, I... Um, I don't know how feel like being on a picture in Thailand. Um, I I didn't feel like I feel like I fit in a picture anywhere. Um, she let me know. He let me know. Uh, you know, he also let me know that uh, using other people that I'm actually really and nobody and nothing that I don't have any kind of origins and he is actually coming also from the uh, Thai royal family too. It was actually no place for me to be there on the first place. Um, the thing is that I was not the one who went there. The thing is I was hijacked to Thailand. I never went to Thailand on my own and it was entire time i wanted to have nothing to do with thailand nothing even here in slovenia i refused to have anything to do with the thailand when they came uh i just gave chance i expressed my interest and was instead humiliated uh, betrayed for that interest i don't think that anybody deserves any interest like this it was already established by the foreign governments that this was definitely not in absolutely any way fit for me due to what I stated uh, but it was the British royals that insisted on this uh, and uh, they prevailed against other governments they forced their way with the idea of my becoming uh, her husband. Probably my curse would have ended already a long time ago if this colonel would not commit himself to adultery. He committed adultery. He conceived children with another Thai woman. And the princess Bairi Kitiaba who rather got the pleasure of humiliation from me whenever she had him on a picture got hurt there was even some terror involved in it that was really really spooky I did not like in absolutely any way was uh, threatened, life-threatened with some locations that are reminded of possibility of my being pushed over the cliffs that 
really bring me extremely, extremely negative memories on this individual. And more than anything, a necessity for me to acknowledge a monarchy, or rather, is psychiatry. Humiliated on multitude of occasions in front of this very guy here. Perhaps the biggest uh, scare in my eyes, Robos, when uh, Princess Bali Kitiaba would uh, repeatedly bring me to her grandmother. This was a better man. You know, uh, a Thai royals love to play with the sanity of the people. Like I said, monarchy, psychiatry. Psychiatry is a monarchy, and monarchy is a psychiatry. Uh, it wasn't only in my case. I realized that there was all kinds of stuff. It was other men who paid their price, their share, um, I feel the whole thing is about the theft of time to one, buying the time, stealing time, and as the time goes by, especially in the circumstances, health-wise, I am in, uh, it's deadly, actually. That's how they get by. It's like Prince Harry stated, the one that lives longer, that outlives the other is the one who is right. because that is the only picture you can see if you google in English her name but you can't see any other picture anywhere uh, Princess Baira Kitiapa is a grandmother that's of a stroke let's go here Actually, let's go here Here, like this. At least that's what it appeared to me as a stroke. And I didn't like the fact that she would keep bringing me to her. Simply due to stuff that went on with me. When I say stuff that went on with me, yes, I was from 95 threatened with a stroke with all kinds of issues. 
uh, ending up inside of the psychiatric hospital. I don't know what. Uh, something they eventually even realized. 18 years down the MK Ultra torture. And <clears throat> it was scary to me, totally scary. And that's when I again rejected the whole thing. I couldn't see it no more. <clears throat> this one was interesting. This was this was occasion of her and her father, for which I started to eventually even believe that uh, the two were doing an album, and I started to believe that because of so many women that this loser had. This is her father, a Thai king, Maha. Uh, he would sleep inside of the women's prison, you know, next to the women. They would imprison women that were good looking. Literally, the families cooperated in it, would disappear. And it wouldn't be only him, but it would be British royals alone that stopped the practice because they caught them in 1997, I think. They became really cautious and they completely ended the practice in 1999. But he still found his way there. Something that ended with his own father, Bumibor Aduladay, who told him that is going to destroy him if he find him one more time inside of the jail with the women. It was a women jail. That's how she got involved in rights for the females. I didn't know anymore as much as I was beaten up, tortured. Uh, that's what he did. He subjected to the torture, beatings. What the fuck went on? I, I wasn't sure anymore who, what do I see in front of me because everything really was a lunacy and he really really enjoyed in it he enjoyed the torture very much whether this was yet actually a woman his wife to become or was it really his daughter uh, he looked good he posed in front of me uh, exampled himself on how slim he is and so on and this and that I was fat at the time, depressed, and uh, these people appears that they don't like me too damn much. Yeah, this was interesting, this, this was definitely interesting, but right now I'm looking for another album here, uh, which is actually a grandmother. Maybe even on the mother's side, uh, who suffered stroke, and she would bring me to her. And uh, on one occasion, because I didn't like that man, I didn't like it because I didn't know who she was, uh, drugged up. Uh, they didn't like to remind me. And uh, the second thing was. Uh, I was all the time threatened that that's what's going to happen to me. And in Slovenia, beginning the 95, the 96, my family tried to throw me inside of the home for mentally disabled people. Right here in the city of Novo Mesto, after the CIA hijacked me from Miami, from Miami Beach. This is the picture I'm talking about. It was actually suggested that I could end up down there. Uh, she realized that it was the wrong thing, especially because of the Himalaya. Uh, they behaved like uh, hooligans and then she stopped with what appeared to me rather as death threatening practice. These people did not understood absolutely anything. I would love to say the psychiatry is a monarchy or the monarchy is a psychiatry, but the issues related to these people go far beyond. 
it appears to me like they enjoyed, they were thrilled with a horror on a human face. With causing suffering and pain, psychological pain, I think these people were thrilled. I think they enjoyed in madness. It wasn't only British royals that enjoyed in that. But today I'm making him a very, very special offer, the last offer, for which I'm certain I know she will skip. And then that's going to be like she stated to me a hundred times that an MK Ultra over for us. This offer is going to expire on midnight on Tuesday, the 28th. If she will accept this offer, she is going to have some apologies to make in my face. I don't even care about her father. Because... I would not accept apologies from certain people. I would accept the apologies from the people I believe that they can express apology, that they are capable to understand the meaning of their words for what I think she is, her father not, but will not accept apology from the people that to them Uh, the words are just words, basically. And lives are just there to be trashed, wasted. Okay, so I don't see her grandmother. I don't see her grandmother anywhere. Um, however, she stated me and her grandmother looked very, very much like her. For me to say, very beautiful. I admired her beauty. Beginning 1995. It depends how they portrayed the issues, as, you know. Sometimes I also disliked, I have to be honest, it's, it was times that it was not appealing, and it was times that it was appealing, whatever it was, back and forth. However, what I resented for that picture is, when she stated to me, in front of the grandmother, that I have to get used to seeing a grandmother and you have to see in what poor state she looks that I have to get used to seeing her in a state that she is in because this is what I am going to look like and she started to cite that that's what they will do to me they will do to me um, I suppose they uh, I suppose that this is um, a Thai monarchy, basically. They, a monarchy ran by the people. They, monarchy ran by a Thai king who is running entire underground also in respect to his opposition entire show in Thailand. So that's basically they will do to me. And so I never had in plan for my life to spend one on a wheelchair with a mouth open and uh, just sharing forward uh, brain dead, basically. Never had in my mind to spend rest of my life 
in a misery as such after undergoing this horror is going on into a 30 year this was not in my plan uh, and I somehow cannot find the grandmother oh the only thing I can uh, another thing I can do is I can try this I'm gonna try this it's gonna be some more honest results based on this thing here and so for that matter for what I stated right now I will add to the offer which will expire on a Tuesday the 28th at midnight request if interested because you expressed in my face in front of foreign people all sorts of people that you would like to have a baby with me my baby for you to resign from the position of the princess resign from the monarchy 100 percent completely free from the monarchy and are willing to pursue your life or rather for the sake of the interests possibly from abroad from the london as you said they will do to you they will do to you is who they will do to you for the benefit of whom who who was running the show who brought me to the thailand who was the one who forced down all governments involving at french german everybody who was forcing them thailand option down the throat who was the one who forced american government who forced everybody down the throat on the west thailand is the only option british did so for that stroke option from the british you're gonna have to resign from the monarchy completely from any kind of a relation with one completely disrelate yourself for you to actually become my wife if you're interested i'm going to give you a completely honest assessment about this whole thing while i do respect issues for which I have stated on my website there are certain issues that trouble me and want to make sure I want to ensure myself that nothing like this would continue in my life that somebody from London would remotely control uh, my life the rest of my life i have gone through this i made it the whole thing all by myself you guys did it with a silence your part and as for how i am gonna spend the rest of my life I will be the one who's going to be making an ultimate decision about it and I don't think that uh, you eventually even would or that you eventually even had ever truly consider me as a potential husband this rather was a contribution to the psychiatry from my point of view you have not earned absolutely any respect from my side so far yet is what i would relate to as a trust uh trust is to be earned so far you have earned none you involved certain issues in this in ultra brain manipulation as i stated monarchy is a psychiatry but you have never managed to go beyond to go beyond you have to actually demonstrate something what i'm going to refer to as real as a reality not a fantasy what you did was 
in stealing in one fantasy so that you could steal as much time as possible and cause as much as possible psychological, emotional damage to one. But that's all there is to it. The rest, it's called reality, which you have accomplished so far absolutely nothing. I don't see this horrible picture. You know, I'm going to find one, and I probably will. I'm going to post one under this video. Uh, however, I did make sure that I did found you a ticket, a plane ticket to Budapest from Bangkok online. And next to one I have attached a calendar with a expiration date. I'm not going to say it didn't, but expiration day it's give you a chance for you to come to Budapest and even get sleep. It's in Hungary, not too far from here. And then, I don't know, you can take a bus, you can take a car uh, with your bodyguard, whatever. And arrive here totally, totally, totally on time, shovel free. That's how I do it. For the rest of it, it's a fantasy. And I don't like fantasy. I'm not a fantasist. I'm a realist. I'm a realistic. Imagine the stuff that I managed to accomplish in my life. Imagine what I have managed to get through to prove my case. This was no silver spoon that would go inside of my mouth. This was no money collecting to harm people. This is not a grandma here, but it looks somewhat like this terrible. Um, I remember her grandma But I also remember myself. It was also something that I was threatened. If I would not go along. In respect to royal law. Or the Thailand. Um, so far, anyways, uh, I, I've been doing this stuff, researching this stuff already. I, I don't know, Thailand, maybe, what is it, one month and a half? Uh, even threatened uh, in respect to the Thai royal law, as per how I would be, I don't know, uh, seen as an enemy and prosecuted and uh, all kinds of stuff if I would uh... but this is this is the thing, you know, if I would what, I mean, look, if I would if I would what? Yeah, that could be it. I'm 
I think this could be it here. And it really looks like a granddaughter, you know. Um, yeah, the tire oil law exists. And, uh, yes, it applies to Thailand and it applies to international also authorities, I'm sure. Uh, in the same form as to what laws apply to a private citizens, basically, in respect to abuse. But you have to be very careful crossing my road, because right now I let you walk freely. I let you get away with it. Uh, now, if I feel something that You try to go your own old patterns again. I am going to prosecute you all the way to Thailand. I'm going to actually come to Thailand with police to get you, if I have to, and take you away. You, your father, everybody. You're going to curse me like you never cursed anybody before. Maybe even face a complete ruin of monarchy of Thailand. Be careful. The threats, I don't take them easily. You are a great reason for my life being destroyed and decimated. You were involved in crime against me for no less than 30 years. You made a lot of money through this case. Through betrayal. Clearly, the people whom you have represented connected yourself with to earn money were the people who were enemies of your grandfather and of your father. I have to be honest about these issues. Um, the whole thing from my point of view, it was nothing other than bestiality. Uh, in even this matrimony that you kept open, if one even ever existed beyond manipulation, because my, your manipulation was present since 96. It was based on betrayal, basically, of a better man. Somebody who committed basically adultery, you know, that hurt your feelings. So, I am willing to look into it, commit myself to even, because I understand how the woman can feel. Not about being betrayed, but maybe being deprived of what otherwise should have been. But you contributed greatly to your misdeed. You contributed greatly to your, uh, if really is there something like this, to your misfortune, if there really is something like this. I just remember that you told me that you have to do your work also for your father, for your country, so long and so long before you can even be free in this and that. Well, I lost 30 years in the process, and you have no time. Tuesday midnight. Be here before the Tuesday midnight or don't be here at all. That's all there is to it, okay? Thanks for watching this video. I found all the pictures, the issues that I wanted to stress. Uh, you did manage to capture my heart. Um, I felt there was a certain degree of sincerity in it. Uh, hopefully more, uh, but that I would be a subject to, to somebody else's interest. It would 
share stake in my health, in my well-being in the future. Uh, as for what they will do to you and that kind of stuff, you're going to also have to resign from the monarchy completely. So then you can be a woman, you know, so you can you can be on my level. So you can we can be on the same level all through. There is no monarch in this world that can look in my eyes and say, I am a king, I am a monarch. There is absolutely not a single monarch that has a guts, that has a boss, that has in it to look in my eyes and say, I am a monarch. All the monarchs in this world, every one, shite, reality, from me therefore they were so afraid of me they were so cowardish they feared me so much that the only time they fear safe to approach me was whenever i was jocked up this is just a fact up to date and it started in 1995 no monarch ever dared to say I know this guy, he was here, this guy really was here, I know him. He really did go through all this stuff, he really have seen these things, he really have done all that. Not a single one of them ever, including the Queen Elizabeth especially, had a guts to step in front of me and say, hello, my name is such and such, it's nice to see you again, and so on. And it doesn't, I don't want to see a single monarch doing this. This is also to let you know, it's not going to happen from my end. It's not going to be okay. It doesn't matter what monarch you are from, where you are. I don't want you in the picture. Monarchy is a psychiatry. And psychiatry is a witch hunting. This is an old technology produced by the monarchists. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.